This video will introduce Simcoe Ion's IQ Power High Efficiency Monitored Nozzle. Additionally, we will demonstrate its simple and flexible installation, which allows multiple nozzles to be positioned anywhere on a high voltage wire run. There are two nozzle varieties available, perforated for a wider coverage area of ionization and a slotted for a more focused ionized airstream. Either nozzle provides rapid neutralization of static on flat or irregular surfaces. Robust mounting hardware is included with either nozzle configuration. The hardware allows for a variety of mounting options and holds its position thanks to the locking detents in the nozzle body. For maximum flexibility, nozzles are provided with both straight and right angle quick disconnect air fittings. The IQ Power nozzle is compatible with Simcoe Ion's IQ Power static neutralizing system. When used with the IQ BPS or the IQ LPS, users of the IQ Power nozzle have a worry free, one touch setup and continuous active monitoring. The high voltage cable is sold separately and is offered in 10, 20, and 30 foot lengths. The cables can be cut to your exact requirements of your application, and the IQ Power nozzles can be positioned anywhere on the cable for a truly flexible installation. The IQ Power nozzle can be user installed in two different positions on the high voltage wiring. When installing a single nozzle, it should be located at the end of the high voltage wiring in the dead end position. Additional nozzles can be installed upstream from the dead end nozzle in the inline configuration. Up to four nozzles can be placed on a single high voltage run. However, the high voltage cable must always dead end into a nozzle. Now we'd like to briefly show you how to install the nozzles in either setup. For installation of a nozzle in the dead end position, take the following steps. First, Ensure the high voltage cable is disconnected from all electrical sources for safety. Then cut the high voltage wire to the overall length if required. Remove two and a half inches of the jacket material from the high voltage cable. Be careful not to damage the installation of the wire itself. Cut the high voltage lead to a staggered length using the nozzle cap and an end plug as a guide. Note that leads are completely interchangeable in the assembly, so it doesn't matter which goes where. Position the high voltage wires in the nozzle cap, ensuring positioning of the gaskets and the end plug. Bring the nozzle body to the nozzle cap and secure it in place with the two Phillip head screws provided. Additional nozzles can be installed upstream from the dead end nozzle, which terminates high voltage cable. Remove four inches of jacket material from the high voltage cable. Be careful not to damage the insulation of the wire itself. It is best to cut the jacket in the region between two high voltage conductors. Remove the jacket material and separate the high voltage conductors for placement into the nozzle cap. Again, Note that the leads are completely interchangeable in the assembly. Position the high voltage wires in the nozzle cap. And ensure positioning of the gaskets. Again, bring the nozzle body to the nozzle cap. And secure it in place with the two screws. By bringing the two pieces together, electrical connections are made to the ionizer. Note that the high voltage wires are perforated by insulation of the IQ power nozzles. Therefore, old wires should not be reused or reconfigured. Your cable assembly with the nozzles is now ready for use with an IQ power system. Connection to the IQ power BPS is simple and the patented high voltage connector system configures the correct output on the power supply. Calibration is automatic and only requires hitting the calibration button on the face label of the unit. This is another patented feature that only Simcoe Ion can offer. As the nozzles run, performance and status are monitored continuously. The display indicates correct performance of the nozzles. 
but can also warn the user when cleaning or other maintenance is required. Keep tuned for more videos on Simcoe Ion's YouTube channel.